Hello YouTube, what's going on? My name is Sergio Vengeance and today I'm going to make a pretty in-depth tutorial video showing you guys how to max out your entire sphere grid with every single character. Uh, as seen here, I have all my characters maxed out. This is on uh, the expert grid on Final Fantasy X Remastered for the PlayStation 4. It may seem like a lot of work and it kind of is. Uh, but what I'm going to go over in this video today is kind of talk about um, how to get the sphere levels fast. It's a pretty well-known trick uh, to a lot of people that have played Final Fantasy, but I hope this video can get to somebody that um, doesn't know about this trick. Uh, and if you, even if you do and you learn something new, that's great. Uh, but we'll go ahead and jump into that right now. Okay, so what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to want to unlock one eye now one eye is a monster in the monster arena he's going to be found under species conquest he's right here so how do you unlock one eye well what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to catch capture five floating eye enemies you know the guys that fly with one eye there's different variants of them you're going to want to capture five of these from certain areas so I'll go ahead and explain where you can find those at right now. Uh, you're going to find Floating Eye here in Meehan High Road. You're going to find Evil Eye here in Makalania. You're going to find Ehriman, I think that's how you say it, here in Gagazette. I believe you can also find this one inside Sin as well. Uh, and you're going to also find... Floating Death here in Omega Ruins. Now, this is probably going to be the most difficult one to obtain. I mean, depending on where you're at in the game, because the Omega Ruins can be a quite treacherous place for beginner players. But uh, you're going to want to come here and capture five of them. And then you're going to also want to catch Beor right here. Five of these from Thunder Plains. So that's what you want to do. Uh, you want to do this first and you should unlock one eye. Alright, sweet. So, now that we have all of those enemies captured, all the one-eyed winged monsters I went over, you should have one eye now. So, what's so special about one eye? Well, the special thing about one eye is that he is an enemy in the game that can actually drop triple AP we weapons. I'll go into why it's so important hereafter but you want to go ahead and come to species conquest and you're going to want to fight one eye so let's go ahead and fight him and uh, let's see what we get from him all right he he died pretty quick my characters are quite leveled at the max so it might take you longer. So here he dropped us a Comet Cactar, so we know that's a weapon for Lulu. So let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so Comet Cactar. So you see how it has a triple AP ability on it already. So what we want to do now is you want to keep fighting one eye as many times as you can until you get a weapon for each character with triple AP on it and three at least three customization slots on it you're gonna have one for triple AP and you're gonna need another uh, two extra slots underneath it I'll tell you why later uh, but for now you want to get just weapons for everybody that has triple AP with two extra customization slots on it. Okay, so now if you have a weapon with three slots, triple AP, two extra slots, what you're going to do is you're going to come to customization for weapons, so customize. Now I've been working on one for the sake of this video, so we're going to come here to Durandal. Same weapon drops from one eye, has triple AP, going to want three slots like I mentioned. So you notice that there's another one on there that I did not get from one eye 
another ability and that's overdrive to AP, which is right here. It'll actually require 10 doors to tomorrow. Now, good news and bad news. The bad news is that you can get these from certain enemies and I'll try to leave the links in the description, but it will require you to bribe, which is a, an ability from Riku. Assuming that if you're this far into this game, you probably already have it and it's going to require a lot of gill. The good news is that if you've been capturing enemies all along, I believe if you capture uh, enemies for five or six places, um, the Beast Master here um, will actually give you and reward you with 99 of them. Now, if you do, this is obviously the easiest route to go uh, because once you have 99 of them, you have enough to make to add overdrive AP to literally every single weapon for all of your characters with no worries. So, um, what you want to strive for is just collecting monsters from every area. Should be really easy uh, to collect them in this part of the game. Um, I would probably hold off on o Omega Ruins because uh, it would require you to be a little higher leveled. But uh, yeah, go ahead and collect those monsters, get your doors to, mar to tomorrow. Overdrive to AP. Now let's look at the third and final customization we need to add to this weapon. Okay, so this next part is a little more tricky. So what we need to go ahead and do is we need to get winning formulas. Uh, they're a little harder items to get and the reason we want them is to make a triple overdrive. Now, you can get 99 of them by unlocking Nislug. Now, Nislug can actually be unlocked if you capture at least one of every monster in every area. Just one. Uh, so, if you unlock them, you automatically get this. You get 99 of them. But, if you don't, or if you did and you don't have them, we have to go the hardest route possible, and that's bribing. Uh, you're gonna need to have at least 900,000 gil for one bribe, and I'll go over that in this video, and I'll actually show how it's done. Um, so, if you need gil, what I would su suggest is you sell all of your uh, all of your items that you got from one eye that was not what you wanted. Um, either if it was armor or uh, triple AP weapons that only had two slots, sell it. That or go to the Mega Ruins and fight Mimics because uh, they can reward you with one million gil. Granted that you have Riku with her final weapon, uh, that Gillionator, I think that's called Gillionaire. There we go. We'll give you a million gil for each uh, Mimic that you kill. So. Let's go bribe and get some of these items. Okay, so we're gonna have to start bribing. So what we wanna go ahead and do is, if you have at least one captured already, you're gonna come here to the arena. It's gonna save you some time. And we wanna come to Bicanel, and we want to fight the Sandworm. So let's go ahead and bring in Titus. And let's go ahead and bribe him with 900,000 gil. Let's see what we get. We have 11 winning formulas. So let's see if this is enough to finish that customization we were working on. Not quite enough, it looks like. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. I will do
This should be enough. We got 12 of them. Let's check it out now. Ah, we have triple overdrive, so it's going to take about 30 of them to finish this out. So let's go ahead and add that here. We have the Ragnarok now. So now, looking at Titus's weapon, we have triple AP that we got from one eye. The overdrive AP, which we got the doors to tomorrow from capturing enemies and getting 99 of them from the reward. And triple overdrive, if you have 30 of them, then you have, then you can do this. And if not, I just showed you how you can bribe to get them. So now we're on to the best part possible. What do we do with this now? Okay, so for the final part of this video, uh, we're gonna find out how we're gonna put all of this to use. So first and foremost, we're gonna want to fight Don Tomberry. He's in Area Conquest, right here. The way you unlock Don Tomberry is by capturing at least one of every enemy here from the Stolen Faith Cavern. The Stolen Faith Cavern is the area that's optional that's between the Comlands and Mount Gagazet. Uh, this is also the same area you want to go to that when you're acquiring your Jimbo through your playthrough, uh, which is an optional Aeon. So you want to keep capture at least one of every enemy there to get Don Tomberry. Now, here my formation it can it can vary on who you ever you're using. Is I'm going to be using Yuna, Kabari, and Titus. Titus obviously because we just built his weapon. Now what you're going to also notice that on Kimari I have the same thing: triple AP, overdrive AP, triple overdrive. Same with Yuna, triple AP, overdrive to AP, triple overdrive. So we all have the same thing on. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna set, if you're working on three characters raising their sphere levels incredibly fast doing this method, you're gonna wanna come to overdrive and you're gonna want to set Yuna to comrade. This is gonna make it so her overdrive goes up faster uh, whenever any, anybody else takes damage. Uh, we're also setting Kamari to this way to Comrade. Now the one person that's going to be um, fo focusing on here for the amount of sphere levels that we get is Titus. Uh, he is going to be getting the most. So you're going to want to set him to Stoic because he's going to be the only character that's attacking Don Tom Barry. So let's go ahead and get on with the fight. So the trick here is that Don Tomberry, every single time I hit him, he's going to counter it with an attack called Karma. Now Karma, the damage output is going to depend on the amount of enemies each character is killed. So uh, the characters that you have on the field, uh, your heavy hitters like Orin, Titus, or whoever that, that actually kill more enemies are going to take the most damage. So we're going to attack him now. Yeah, instant KO. So what I did is I set up Yuna to have auto Phoenix down so I don't have to take the effort to keep reviving him. We're going to waste Kamari's turn. We're going to go back to him. Oh, never mind. I messed up there, so sorry about that. I wasn't actually going to attack with Kamari. Because we're only using Titus.
Let's hear heal Kimari. So Danton Barry, he's gonna walk at least three times, I believe, until he gets to the point where he can actually attack you. does look really strange and silly while you're doing it, but you will see the outcome. Alright, so if he makes one more step, well, we're not going to let him get another step in here. So we're going to go through all these turns until he gets another turn. Alright, so he's gonna get another turn now. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is you do not wanna escape, you wanna use the flee option. So let us flee. And there you go. That actually gave Titus all and everybody 99 sphere levels. So this method is efficient if you're going to try to go through the sphere grid to get um, everybody to get it complete to go through it as quickly as possible. So uh, yeah, that's the Don 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 Tonberry trick and how to pretty much get 99 sphere levels without any effort at all. So. Uh, Thanks guys for coming to watch this video, I really appreciate it, and uh, if you like how I did this video, or you like it, hit, hit that like button. Um, I have more Final Fantasy content, if you want to check it out, go ahead. If you like what I'm doing, it would I would greatly appreciate it if you hit subscribe, and if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me in the comments, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day.